hey back again with new video guys this is sampath you're watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is poco f5 5g twrp skk recovery updation method and here are some guidelines from my side to avoid breaking and making mistakes while flashing custom rom in this poco f5 or the redmi note 12 turbo guys and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and without wasting any time let's begin this video first uh, you need to download the required files whatever it is as you can see i have seadrod rom firmware nick j apps and superior os uh, that's the current rom I don't require that twrp recovery first we need to uh, update the recovery in order to do that first plus the let me check out whether advanced restart button is available or not yeah, there is advanced restart button. If you don't have that, press volume up button and power button continuously to boot into recovery. I have here advanced button. Let's use that and boot into our recovery using that. It will take some time to reboot. Meanwhile, I want to show this case. Uh, as you can see, in every ROM, wherever you download, there will be node section. Check out based in HyperOS firmware they are given. You need to flash the HyperOS. For example, if it is this is the current TWRP recovery i will update it now 8.3 is the version current i'll update it to 8.4 yeah before that i will complete this and for example here nothing is mentioned here firmware your region required in installation you can click sometimes it will give in the firmware in previous versions what is the case was it was not updated to hyperos hence i was using may 14.0.6 uh, firmware but you need to check out guys latest uh, roms will be based on the hyperos firmware only don't get confused here if it is not given ask me in the video section what is the firmware used in this particular rom i will definitely answer that don't make any mistakes and update the recovery whenever you get the recovery and this is the recovery what i'm using now go into install here and select here install image you can see this is the 8.6 the latest version now will press here and select it as a recovery as you can see now uh, if you want you can select flash to both slots i'll just swipe to confirm flash here yeah it is flash now reboot and select into recovery this is how very simple to flash the recovery and update your recovery in poco f5 5g or the redmi note 12 turbo guys as you can see now it is updated to 8.6 version now flashing methods continuous here in this particular room as i said they are using firmware hyperos so i am also using the same first flash the firmware firmware is very much essential guys it plays a vital role in flashing the custom rom now this is also done now again go to cr droid rom zip file as you can see automatically refresh twrp you can select that yeah this is a vanilla build once it get flashed i will tell you the different steps yeah flashing custom rom i mean the rom zip file has been completed here as you can see even twrp is also reflashed again as you can see again in some of the roms they have mentioned notes make sure to be on hyperos firmware but in other roms it will be mentioned like this you can check out if coming from hyperos or aospa and that for flash your regional latest miui firmware they are asking hence you need to read before flashing any custom rom guys here i i've flashed this particular rom jfl now see a now i need to flash the uh, G apps here. If it is a G apps build, no need to flash this case. I'll just swipe here to confirm. As you can see, this all the Nick G apps. It's get failed here for some reason. Yeah, that's the problem. What we can face here. Again, I'll try to flash again. Yeah, it's getting failed. I'll do one thing. I'll wipe the data here. Format data. It will also not get. I think so. Yeah, formatting data has been completed. Now you can't even flash the uh, G apps right now. I'll do one thing, reboot to system whether it will get flashed to the CR red. And guess it's again dependent on the G apps version also. Flash the appropriate G apps only. That's why I recommend these developers to give the G apps build. As you can see, it's getting booted into CR red, but we need to get the G apps again. We need to manually download here or use the pen drive or OTG to flash the g apps here that's the flashing method of this poco f5 guys if you have any specific questions regarding flashing method and what is the firmware used 
everything you can comment down in the comment section guys this is sambath will be meeting you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now